Yo, what's going on guys, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the famous minigame called One in the Chamber. So this is from Call of Duty, but it's used on a lot of Minecraft servers these days. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up the best OITC plugin that I know. So just download this plugin in the description and download the required plugin in the description to make it work. Draw these plugins in your plugins folder and restart your server. So once your server is restarted, go ahead and get a good arena. I have Nuketown from Call of Duty, but yeah, you guys can use anything really. So just get a good arena and we're going to go ahead and get started. Started. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started, and the first thing that we want to do is we want to create some spawns. So, to create some spawns, we're going to go to the place where we want to create our spawns at, where we want our players to spawn at, stand there, and this command is actually going to also create the arena name for us. So by typing in this one command that will set the spawn, we're also going to type the name of the arena. So just come up with a catchy name, and type the command slash OITC, set spawn, and then the arena name that you want to call it. So I'm just going to call mine... Nuketown and hit enter so there we go we set spawn zero and then we can also just set as many other spawns as we want just by typing in the same command in so there we go I'm just gonna type in four spawn points well I'm just gonna have four spawn points and then the last one over here so yeah there we go so we set four spawn points and the first one is actually zero so keep that in mind alright so now what we're gonna do is we're going to set the arena high and low points so these are the boundaries the boundaries the players can't go outside the boundaries that we set so I'm trying to keep in line with that fence right there because that's pretty much the last part of the arena and what we want to do is we want to set the high corner of our arena and then the low corner so the low corner would obviously be over there and I'm at the high corner right now so just make sure you capture everything in between those two corners and yeah just type the command slash OITC set bounds the arena name so Nuketown for me and then high so there we go we set the high boundary so now I'm gonna set the low boundary real quick So here we are, uh, oh yeah, that would have been a mistake. So make sure you capture everything on this side also, and same command except instead of high, you're gonna want to type in low and hit enter. So there we go, now we set the both points. And yeah, so we're done with that part. Now the next part that we want to do is we want to set the max amount of players that can be on this game. So obviously the max wants to be the amount of spawn points that you set, the most amount of spawn points that you set. So if you set 20, then the max would be 20. I set 4, so I'm going to make that 4. So slash OITC set max, oh yeah, set max players, the arena name, and then the number. So 4. And then there we go. So we want to set the minimum now. So it's pretty easy. Same command except you want to change max to min and then change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to have the minimum minimum as two. There we go. So if you have like VIP or donator groups on your server, now you can decide if you want this certain arena to be only accessed by VIP players. That's up to you, but you can do this by slash OITC set arena VIP, the arena name and then true or false. I'm just gonna make it false so everyone can play on it. So the next thing that you're gonna need, you're actually gonna need two lobbies. One is the main lobby which will have the signs for every single arena that you create. So this is the main lobby right here and it'll have all the signs like I said and then after they click the sign they'll be sent to the waiting lobby which you'll need one for each arena that you have. So this is the one I'll create for this arena right here and so yeah just make sure you have that and then once you have that just stand in your waiting lobby and then type the command slash OITC set lobby and then the arena name so Nuketown and then yeah so we did that now we can set the main lobby stand in there and type the command slash OITC set main lobby and just enter so I think we're pretty much done so we can just type the command slash OITC save arena and then the arena name so there we go we are done now we can enable the arena so slash OITC set enabled the arena name and then true so there we go we are officially done now we can just create some signs and you guys are good to have this on your server for your players to play so I tried creating the join sign and it doesn't work and I hardly know what he even means on the plugin page but if you guys can somehow figure this out that'd be helpful but otherwise I have another plugin that you guys can download which will let you run commands through signs so we're gonna go ahead and use that instead that'll be in the description just download it really easy really simple and fast and once you have that plugin you just want to type on the first line command in brackets on the second line you're going to type OITC 
on the third line you're gonna want to type join and on the fourth line you're gonna want to type your arena name so there we go so pretty much how this works is on the first line this is the actual command and there's no slashes needed but every line is an additional space so since we have three words it's gonna take up three lines so OITC join Nuketown done and then there we go so if we actually test this command out by right clicking we'll be sent to the lobby and there we go we are sent here and the command sign actually works so hopefully you guys check that plugin out and get it because it's really awesome but yeah so as you guys can see when I'm in the lobby I do get some GUI items the shop achievements classes so it's all really sick and as soon as Bobby joined the countdown started to go down so it actually works in the experience bar which is really sick and yeah, so this is a really cool plugin. So there we go. Um, as soon as you get in the arena, there's another countdown, which I like. It's like a little grace period. And we're about to get our class, and there we go. So obviously we get the one arrow and then the bow, and if we get another kill, then we get another arrow. So it's a one-shot kill, which is pretty sick. And yeah, so there we go. We now we have the achievement first blood, and that is awesome because it has achievements, and this plugin is awesome. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more plugin tutorials, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.